Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to fix Windows 11 problems with one click. This is a piece of software that can fix some of the most common Windows 11 problems. There's also one for Windows 10 on their website, and it's called Fix Win 11, and there's one called Fix Win 10. So you can see here, I've got it downloaded, and I'm going to open it up. It is a portable application, and you may see Windows protected your PC. That's because it is an unknown publisher but it is a well-known trusted website that helps people fix problems. It's called the Windows Club, as you can see here. So it gives you a message about uh, what your PC is, Windows 11 Pro, gives you your CPU, uh, the operating system, and gives you the name of the PC. You've got System File Checker Utility here. When you click on this, it's just going to open up the command prompt box and run a SFC scan now. And this is going to scan all of your protected system files and replace any corrupted files with cached copies inside uh, the PC that's stored on the PC. The other one is create restore point, and we also have re-register store apps. So if you've got uh, issues with store apps, you can use the re-register store apps here. And you've got your repair system image here, which is basically going to open up a command prompt and this will repair the Windows operating system that it runs on. So it's going to fix any of issues that you've got with that uh, image there using the DISM uh, command there. And it's normally the DISM space forward slash online uh, space forward slash clean dash image and in space forward slash restore health. Next up, we've got a file explorer here. And there's a bunch of ones inside here like fix a recycle bin is missing from the desktop. And there's a bunch of other ones in here, like Explorer doesn't start on Windows uh, Startup, so you can fix those. Thumbnails are not showing in File Explorer. Reset Recycle Bin. Recycle Bin is corrupted. And we've got some other ones in here, like Class Not Registered uh, Error in File Explorer. And there's quite a few inside here, which are very common problems that you're going to have with windows you see there we've got right click context menu uh, is disabled and we've got a bunch of other ones here like problem regarding dns resolution uh, so you can fix that issue there runtime errors and we also have optimization of internet explorer difficulty connecting to the internet and a bunch of other ones inside the internet and connectivity system fixes there's two pages here. They're probably going to add more to this at a later date. Windows Component Store is corrupt. You can repair it by clicking the fix. And we also have underneath here where we can click the question mark and it will tell you the command it's going to use to fix this, which is that DISM DISM command here. Now, resetting the settings app, if you look on here, it uses the same uh, command. So some of these might be the same and some of them will be different. Start menu doesn't open or doesn't work in Windows 11. We have a command here that's just going to do for you. You don't have to type it out. So these are pretty common problems. Wi-Fi doesn't work after upgrading to Windows 11. Disable OneDrive on here. Windows update stuck downloading updates after updating. And this is going to run a command where it's going to fix that issue, which is to do with the software distribution area. So very useful, and they're very common uh, problems. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones here. We do have a second page, and you can see issues with Windows activation. Re-register all DLL files here, and there is a command here. So it shows you the manual way if you want to do it manually. But I think it's a very useful tool to fix a lot of common known issues with Windows system tools. Uh, again, we have a couple of pages here. Task Manager has been disabled by your administrator. And we've got Command Prompt has been disabled. These are normally generally related to either someone messing with their PC with uh, registry tweaks or stuff like that. Or malware can sometimes disable a lot of these features uh, like uh, reset Windows search to defaults. And you can see the Task Manager disabled, which is very common back in the older days. Uh, you can see here uh, we do have some specifications of the system. And uh, we'll move on down uh, to the troubleshooters. Now, these are just links to the actual troubleshooting applications. And uh, basically, when you click on these, it will give you a troubleshooting box that pops up and it will tell you uh, what's wrong with the PC and try to fix it. I never had much luck with these, uh, but they are there. And sometimes they can help a little bit if you've got a minor problem. But they are built into Windows, and if you type Troubleshoot inside the search here and click on Troubleshoot Settings, 
inside here you will see other uh, troubleshooters and it will give you the list of them here when you click on the run it will open up the same troubleshooting app as you would get from here so just a shortcut but still nice to have additional fixes these are your common ones that you would go to like enable hibernate or hibernate option is missing uh, from the shutdown uh, aero snap and restore sticky notes uh, and you've also got notifications has been disabled uh, trouble uh, taskbar jump list and a bunch of other ones and some quick fixes here which is reset the group policy which is very useful um, and you've also got other common ones here reset notepad to defaults reset wmi of repositories reset winstock reset dns cache uh, reset settings apps reset software distribution folder and again reset catch root 2 folder reset data usage reset cycle bin and uh, reset windows store cache reset tcp ip and also reset windows settings and reset windows update history bunch of other ones here reset your windows uh, password settings so it's got the unusual uh, common things that people normally reset on a regular basis and down the bottom you've got some manual fixes down here as well so quite a useful tool uh, to just click on something and have it fixed and there is the about page here there is the developer's name i'm not going to try and pronounce that because i'll probably butcher his name you've got a, a feedback and support on the home page here and the publisher which is the windows club so again, if you've been to the Windows Club's website, you'll probably know that they do some pretty good uh, tools on there. And so check their website out. They also do some articles on there about fixing. Remember, use the Create a Restore Point before you start using any sort of tools and also understand what you're clicking on before you start using these types of tools. So this is the website here where you can get it from. I'll leave the link in the video description. And uh, it just gives you a long list of what this tool actually does. But like I said, you need to know exactly what this tool is actually doing before you start clicking on things. So understand what you're actually clicking on and what it actually does before you start even attempting to fix any sort of problem. Remember, always back up your data before you run any sort of fix on any sort of PC. And that should go without saying. But as you can see here, long list of stuff that it actually does. You can have a good read at this at your own leisure. I'll leave the link in the video description. And the download link is right at the very bottom of the page. All you need to do is download it and extract it and put it into a folder. You can keep it on a USB flash drive as well. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. And a special shout out goes to Fertility. Also, MS Musk Oxen, RTX Brody, Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, PC Repair Tech, Mike Bigness, Albert Hewson, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. Thanks for the support, guys. I really appreciate it. And I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.